Welcome my Flat Earth family. So every time I turn this on it just makes a little bit different. So this is what you get. So I'm sorry. Um, uh, this is video number eight in the series AC J oh NJ AC space NJ space one slash eight. And when I write that, it's the first in the series of eight videos. They're all very short. One through seven is very short. So it should take you no time at all to get to this video number eight. And this is where I'm going to put this all together. Um, this is being dedicated to um, two people in particular, Jesse Kozlowski and Flat Earth Math Charles. These are two people that I have come in um, contact with, Jesse just on the uh, internet, but uh, Flat Earth Math Charles, I met in person. He was very nice, but you know, nice doesn't really matter, does it? It's really truth that matters. So truth is where it's at. So um, there is this thing about um, people in the education system. When you're in the system, it's like you're being trained in that's how they want things to be. But it's not necessarily reality. So what we have to deal with is reality. If science does not match reality, then it's not science. I can't tell you how many times I've said that one. So uh, we have to deal with reality. Now, the title of this video is, Do You Know What You're Looking At? Do you really know what you're looking at? Do you have a trained eye? Have you trained your eye? Do you know what you're looking at? Um, this is what uh, art teachers can teach. This is what uh, architects and drafts people can teach is how to train your eye to know what you're looking at. And... Um, there are many videos out there on perspective, but there's even things that go beyond perspective. And these things are refraction, angular resolution, and the mirroring effect. Now, these are not necessarily all different. These are just different names for some of the same things that you will be seeing. Now, I... I did make a video last night, but it was not exactly the way I wanted it. So I waited till this morning to, to make this video number eight. And it was I was glad that I waited because um, it seems as though some of those negative comments have come out. And these people are going to expose themselves. I'm not going to expose them. They are exposing themselves. So um, we have to see, uh, look in the comments, uh, Jesse Kozlowski has posted a uh, comment and he put in the video that I am addressing. However, I will put that also in um, the comments of this video. So in case he decides that, yes, he does need to understand what he's looking at. I did um, say that uh, Jesse was not being totally honest because he did not pan to the left. And I'm going to take that one little sentence back only for panning slightly to the left. Because if you panned further to the left, I think this would have been revealed to you what this actually was. And this is what we did when uh, my friend and I went down yesterday to the Jersey Shore. We got there just at sunrise. And um, although sunrise was not in our, um, our, our, um, uh, what do you want to say? Our plan or our agenda. The sunrise it was not really what we were going for. We wanted to get there when the, the um, oceans were uh, calmest and all these other factors which factor in were at their lowest. 
And that's usually um, at sunrise and sunset. But sunrise is better, I think. There's the calmness that's uh, on the ocean. So, so do you know what you're looking at? Do you know what you're looking at? I mean, this picture right in front of you, what do you see? Whirly. You have to take a look at it. Oh, well, looks like a buoy out there on the ocean. That's nice. Okay. And that's all you're going to think about it? That's all you're going to say? You can go back and look at these videos again. You can pause them and you can study the pictures. Study them. You have to know what you're looking at. And um, there's my little cursor. It's not a bird. Okay, so this is dedicated to all these globalists. And if you are deceived, be, ne be deceived no longer. If you want to deceive, you are on notice that we will not allow you to deceive or hurt any good people any longer. Okay? So, um... Mr. Soundly, I think you are going to be next on the list. We are working on uh, exposing your uh, uneducated um, viewpoint, how you uh, are just taking an immaturish, childish view of what you're seeing. You don't look any further past your nose. And... Uh, that is being very kind. You must be an adult. You must grow up and take a more depth in um, view of these photos and these videos. You must look further. I want to point out just this first one here. There's some little things over in here that you need to look at. They are not spots on my screen. Okay. This is probably from the first video, and I'm going to come down here and just flip through a few of these pictures, and then at the end, I've got a really good, really good thing that you're going to need to really take a look at, so please stay tuned here. Let's get to the next picture. There we go. We have two buoys. Two buoys out there, and these were up near Atlantic City. We were in Ocean City first. And we took the view north uh, in towards Atlantic City. This was to the right of the casino. Now, this is south. And there you have a water tower. Now, I want you to notice, uh, I think this is Stone Harbor on there. And I think the next picture is um, clearer. Uh, first, look at this little spot up here on this water tower. That is what the sunrise looks like on a curved surface. No, it's not a little white heart that they drew, although it does look like the shape of a heart. Isn't that cute? For February 14th, which is coming up soon. So this says Stone Harbor. And look how even the, the lettering is all like up and down and distorted. But look at this pedestal. Look at all the distortions on that. Right, let's get to the next one and see what it looks like there. There we go. So, Stone Harbor. It's a little easier to make out. And that's funny because we backed out a little bit on that. But please, oh, now i got to readjust this camera because it's not giving you the bottom. It's not giving you the bottom, and I want you to see down at the bottom. And probably the bottom on all these is going to be more important than then up high. So there we have the bottom of this. What are you looking at? Do you know what you're looking at? Let's see. Well, it looks very distorted, doesn't it? We have all these. These look like houses down here, don't they? It looks like a beach. What could this be? Well, let's take a look. There is something called mirroring effect. Um, and that has to do with angular resolution and humidity in the atmosphere. And all these factors factor in. And with a, a zoom camera, you also get compression at the bottom. Because it's all going into the vanishing point. So let's see where this, 
where this line is, where the true line is that it starts the mirroring. I hope I can, I hope I can find it for you. You have to look for something that looks like it reverses. So if you see a space and then you see the same coloration on the other side, and I don't know if I'm going to be able to find this because it is so distorted. That looks like it's a, a real house, like it, it's complete. It's, it might be in here somewhere. I don't know. That's going to be really difficult. Let's go to the next one, see if we can see it any better. Oh my goodness, look at this. Now you obviously, obviously you must know this is not a cloud, a house cloud with a water tower on top. You must know that. You cannot be watching this. You cannot have educated yourself in any of this. You cannot have studied flat earth or any of the, the subjects that we've covered as to trying to help you to understand what you're looking at and not see this and say, oh, look, there's a cloud and it's floating and there's a water tower on top. Oh, it must be an alien spaceship. I mean, how could you even think something strange like that? Are you out of your mind? Are you crazy? And I'm going to use these terms because that's what you guys say to us. So, it is absolutely not. This is right down there, but this is mirroring effect. And this, this space here is the sky. And you can even see this part of the water tower coming down. And this part is down in the water. So you can't see how much darkness it is because of the darkness of the water that's there, the mirroring effect even on that, and the compression and the angular resolution of the water. You can't see this reflection. But you can see some of these legs coming down, even over here where it's lighter. So let's see if we can't find where that is. Now I have a string. See, last night when I made this video, I, I didn't have all my props. And it's good to make one video and then go back when, especially when you don't make a lot of these, then you can't know everything you're supposed to do. And I do not edit. So when I do not edit, then I'm going to have to do it over. And that's fine. That's okay with me. I think this is pretty darn close to where the mirroring effect starts. Okay? Now look at that, folks. Everyone, my friends, look at that. Do you see how it's a mirror? But that's not the beach. That's not the beach down below that string line. That's not the beach. It's the mirror. Now this is, when we're in Ocean City, this is looking south towards Avalon. And I think it's, it's like 24 miles. That's what I'm going to say. And I do not have Google Earth. So if somebody wants to nitpick, and I'm so sick of these nitpickers. Uh, nitpicking is something that science will teach you to make you afraid if, if you want to look into science. But if you have a science degree, it gives you an air of authority because you can, you know, factor it out to the decimal place, 10 decimal places. So, so you are more important and you can push that button on that calculator. So you have the authority to say that they are wrong because they only took it to nine places. And this is what I'm getting in the comments too. This is what I'm getting. Oh, you, you don't take sundial exact readings. Okay. So I'm a few minutes off on where the sun is. I have a life. So if I go out there pretty close to the hour and I mark it, I, that's good enough for me. Do you know what? If I, if I mark the time, if I don't mark the time, I'm going to be better. But if I give a roundabout, it's around 11 o'clock instead of 1051. So then I'm, I'm chastised for not being exact on the time. But it doesn't matter because if I didn't put the time at all, it would have no difference. So you're just decimal pointing people into being stupid and afraid. No, I'm not going to let you do that. Shame on you. 
So let's go to the next one. I think it's the same thing. Yes. Now you see if you can't pick out where that line is. You can pick out that line. Go back to the video. Watch the video on this. I think it's the first one. But look at that mirroring effect. Do you see it now? Do you see it? Okay. Yes, you should be able to. Test yourself. Train yourself. Teach yourself. You have a brain. Let's use them. There's another one. I, I guess I put kept three in here. I, you know, my friend took several pictures of each situation. And look, you can see this darkness in here, the reflection of the water tower a little bit better. So go back to the videos and watch them. All right, now here, this is very interesting. When we look south, um, and this is below Avalon, there's a bridge that goes from one to the other. And, um, or is it below Stone Harbor? They are working on the road below the bridge. And we even walked up on that bridge and we took a look around and we could not see Atlantic City from that bridge. So it is back uh, from the shore, uh, from that line, from that uh, line of view, the line of sight, I'm sorry. So isn't this interesting? This had a piece of metal up here on the top. This is the sunlight from the sunrise reflecting on this piece of sheet metal on the top of this crane. And here's the other crane that didn't have anything shiny on the top. And there's a road down here, and it's all torn up, and there's other vehicles and whatnot down below. Now you tell me, what is this here? What is this light spot? What is that? Well, let's go. Halfway in between, which is probably where this mirroring effect starts, there you have it. When you find two objects, if you go halfway in between, then that's probably the line. That's a very good guess. Okay, There could be other factors like the angle or whatever that could be preventing this from being like exactly halfway. So if any of you uh, nitpickers want to come on and say, oh, well, it can't be exactly one half the distance because of yada, yada. Okay, well, if you want to be helpful and, and uh, you know, teach me something, that's fine. But if you want to come on here and tell me I'm full of, full of baloney because... Um, I'm, you know, picking somewhere halfway, then I don't, I'm not interested. Go somewhere else and pedal your baloney. So that's the reflection. That is the reflection from this bright, shiny thing. And it was very interesting to see that morning. Okay, let's go to the next one. There's another one. And look, there's the same light, but it's in a different position now. Do you see that? And look at this. What do we have? Water just floating above no, this is actually a wave that came through the mirroring effect. That's what it is, the highs and lows. So, you know, th th these are what you look at. And look, right here, you can see this one comes down and then it shifts. And it goes back. That's where this mirroring line is. This one, about there. It angles. That There's your clues. Okay, let's start looking, looking, really looking, studying the photographs. What the heck could this, I, you know what they did? They had a balloon fair that day. They had a balloon launch down there in Avalon. Can you imagine they had a balloon launch? No, of course I'm being silly. These are three water towers. Now I want you to see something. And when we saw them, we thought, okay, we're going to be looking for this water tower, then we're going to look for the cranes, then we're going to look for three water towers. And when we got down there, we said, wait a minute, we find two water towers, where's the third one? This one was way down the line yet. These two, this one was first, look, because it's higher and perspective, and this one is second, it's further away, and this one is much further away. So this uh, the height is showing you the perspective of where these are. They are not three in a row. So let's see if we can't find where this line of reflection is. Where could it possibly be? 
Well, I don't see any like reflection of this one. So I think, and that one is visible. So it has to be, has to be somewhere there. And is perspective making it like this? I think that's what's happening here. Perspective is giving it an angle. Because this one's not being mirrored anywhere. This one is. And this one has a large, down here is there is a mirror. A reflection. Okay. Let's see. There's another shot of the same thing. Can you see those re reflections? And look at the waves. And I'll be discussing the water a little bit later. Now, here is looking north from Ocean City. This is a sand dune with some grasses on it here. And there's a little stone jetty coming out there. If I misuse a term, I, I don't really care. If you want to tell me exactly what it is and be nice, that's different. But if you want to say, oh, well, I lived there 20 years and uh, that's really a yada yada and you're a dumb bunny. So, okay, that you don't use uh, nice terms. This is what I'm finding is, is these so-called educated people just want to uh, hate. Yeah, they do. They, they are filled with hatred and they want to protect their paper status because that's all their value comes from is their piece of paper. They have a piece of paper and I, I also have a piece of paper, but I never shoved it in anyone's face. I always wanted to know what they thought. Whoever it was, you have something to say? Why do you think that way? Tell me about that. Now, am I perfect? No. All right. So what's next here? This is uh, Atlantic City from Ocean City. And it's only a few miles away, let's say three or so. Now, the buoys are over in here somewhere. But if you don't zoom in, my friend could see them, and I'm calling him my friend because he is a friend, and um, he did not really want to be uh, on this videos, but you'll hear his voice in the videos. So I respect him, and I'm not going to put him out there. So um, the buoys are out in here somewhere, but look, you have this Gumby-style casino. You, does everybody remember Gumby? with the slanted head. It was like a little rubber figure. And Gumby, and was it Davy was the little boy? And what was the dog's name? Was Gumby on with Davy? No, Davy and Goliath was a different, sorry, I'm sorry. Davy and Goliath was a different cartoon. It was like a, uh, an animation, but it wasn't. It was like um, the figures that they move and then you move the figure, and then you make a time lapse, and that makes it move. That was very interesting. Like clutch cargo in his lips. Oh my goodness, that was a different thing too. But um, Gumby here, the slanted roof. So the Gumby Casino here. And then right next to it, we have that. And then here, and then this. Okay, that's Atlantic City. Let's see what we have next. There is a chemtrail. When we first got there, the sky was perfectly clear. And after we started um, filming and whatnot, the planes came out in force. And it did not take long at all before the sky was totally cloud. It was horrible. And uh, we even took a picture of another plane that didn't have any chemtrail out the back. So uh, these definitely were out there. Uh, spraying. If they were all having the same exact trail, then we could say, well, maybe there's some condensation, but not when some have it and some don't. And they're about the same elevation, so don't give me that baloney. Oh, I can't tell you how wonderful this shot is. This is just excellent. We were down um, about a mile away from this um, Pier. Now look at that pier. Isn't that just excellent? So let's find where the mirroring effect is. It looks like the water goes down, doesn't it? And when you watch the video, you should have seen this. 
because I first saw this, I'm there, oh, look at that. It's just excellent. So we went back, and you'll see um, the video after this one where we first saw it. We went back up to that pier and filmed from that pier. It was just so amazing to us that we went back a mile so we could get to this and look at it. Now, the way to find this mirror is here's this woman walking with her dog, and we met them. She was just coming off the beach with her dog as we were coming on, so we spoke to her. And here, look, she's mirrored. So let's go right down to where her feet would be, which is about there. And then over here, I'm thinking it's about there. All that is mirror. All of that. What do you think? Can you see that? Do you see that? Excellent. Now, I think those seagulls are sitting on the water. So they are mirrored on the water, but if they were to fly off, the, you, you would see them fly up and then down at the same time as soon as they cross that line. And there is another video out there with that, and it is just like it makes you gasp. Okay, there's another shot of this. And there's another shot. That's the end of the pier. But there's mirroring there. So make no mistake. And there is one of the great shots that you need to study. This is Atlantic City from down there in Avalon. So let's take a look. Uh, we have the white ball up at the top. Oh my goodness, you're not seeing any of it. I'm so sorry. This shot is up near the top of the picture, that's why. So here we have the white ball at the top. And there is lettering here that says Ocean Casino, but uh, it only comes out very, very lightly on one of the videos and one of the pictures later I have. So let's see what we have here. Where's the mirroring effect on this? Well, we have a casino next to it, and on the top of that is this dark square. Here is that dark square. Here's sky, and here is sky. That's what's being mirrored. So you look in between those two. You look in between those two, and it's right about there. So the bottom of the Gumby Casino is not the true bottom. It's the mirror. Do you understand that? This is very, very important. And I want you to look right where you see water and the bottom of that, where you think you see the bottom of the uh, Gumby Casino. Because that's going to be very important. And I pointed out where the sky is under the left building. The building on the left. See that sky there. And you can even see a little wave that broke through the mirror. Do you understand that? This is very, very important. Let's see what's the next one. Another shot of the same effect. And you see, the, there's more sky under the left building. Please study, study, study. Now, there's a water tower, Stone Harbor. I can't tell if we're... We must be south of that because I didn't really take these out of order. So, this is from up at the pier. We went back one mile and look what we got. We got a lot more buildings in here. But you can see these buildings. You can see them where they're mirroring. I, geez, the string is so thick, I don't even want to do that. But you can see there's, there's sky underneath these buildings. Do you see? Well, this one especially. Here's one here. So go back and watch it and pause the video and study it. Especially you, Jesse and uh, Charles, math, flat earth math, Charles, and Jesse Kozlowski, and Mr. Soundly. Please go back and study, study, study. This, um, this is about 
23 miles, which is almost 24 miles the length of the Pontchartrain Bridge. You know, I was over that Pontchartrain Bridge in um, 2016, and I have a relative, actually two relatives down there. So, um, you can see, we are at this pier, and it is a private pier. And um, the lady told us with the dog, she told us that it's a private pier and uh, nobody's allowed out on there. And they had this big barrier with a door in it, which looks very silly, but it keeps people off the pier, I suspect. But there it is. And we just zoomed in on Atlantic City, and that's what you're seeing. Now, we are looking south towards Wildwood. Look what you have. Go back to this video and look at Wildwood. Now, is that a, a whale sticking its tongue out? What is that? Let's see if we can't find what this is. Here we have some lamp posts. I don't know if you can see those or not. I'm sorry that my little video camera is not high resolution. But you can go back to those videos and you can pause them and you can study them. So let's find out. Here we have an object that's beige. I don't know what it is, but it goes like this, and then it reverses and goes back. There's your clue. That's where that line of mirroring effect is. And then if you put that across, and it doesn't have to be straight because you don't know where the distance is so much, but the, also on that little tongue that's sticking out, that roundish object, that looks like that's about where things start to repeat and go back on themselves. So that looks like it's about the mirroring effect line. Let's go to the next one. Ha ha, this is interesting. Behind this object here, it, the water goes in. The in it's like an inlet. The, the um, shoreline goes inward. So we're not catching anything right directly behind this. So um, you know what this is. This is just a little jut out. Here's a house down here. And look, if you look far to the left, you can see where this house is just upside down. So let's take where this is mirroring. And I would say it's like, it's almost like right in between. Because then there's sky under it. This is not somebody holding a stick out over the water. There's sky under here. What is it, floating? Are all these houses floating in the air? Holy cow. Let's, let's use our brains. Now, there we go. What is this? And look, here you can almost see the lettering because there's, uh, it's very light colored in here. So that's where it says Ocean Casino. And there's the white ball at the top. Now, this is in Wildwood. So we've gone another nine miles south of Avalon. Now, this is very something very, very important I want you to notice. This building is gone. This was We stopped for breakfast because I thought, okay, we're definitely going to get that other building in there. So when we got down there, I was shocked. And I said, where is that other building next to it? How could this be? I'm there, oh, oh no, Jesse Koz Kozlowski could have been correct. What is going on? But I know that there's something wrong about that. Well, let's look at this. What's this white down here? Do you see that? It comes in here. What is that? It's sky. This is all mirrored. So let's go halfway in between that and see what we say. About there? You think it's about there? And look, that would completely cover the building on the left, wouldn't it? So what we're getting is mirroring up to the top of that building on the left, and we're only getting sky now being reflected. We're not getting any of the building reflected. And that was just after, well, let's say 45 minutes because it took us time to eat breakfast and get some coffee and go back out. It, it was very, very cold that day. I'm sorry. Our fingers were frozen. and But we did the best we could. 
and um, talked to some of the um, guys out there. We went to uh, the Hereford Historical Lighthouse. Oh, and the people at um, the Wildwood City Hall, they were very, very helpful and very nice. And uh, the one guy, the city clerk, and I don't want to mention any names, so forgive me, um, but... Um, he was very helpful. He said if we came down during the week that uh, he would allow us to go in there and uh, take our, our pictures from higher up. This is what I wanted to do at the historic Hereford Lighthouse. Um, I love historical buildings. So uh, right in front of the Hereford Lighthouse is the Coast Guard and it had a police sign on it. So no, I'm not exactly sure, but they had a lot of boats there. So I'm sure it's like Coast Guard kind of um, uh, facility, and they also had a widow's walk. A widow's walk is where you have um, a little um, roof coming out of the top of the building, and there's windows all around, and the widow, they called it a widow's walk because the, the women, the wives, would go up there and watch for their husbands coming back from sea. And if they walked a long time, it was more than likely the ship went down and she's a widow. So, um, very sad, but that was the dangers of being um, a sailor. Um, so, let's go to the next one. See what we have. This is now at Wildwood. We are about 33 and a half miles. And I do not have... Google Earth. So if you want to be a nitpicker again and intimidate and make people fearful and you hate people that much, then go ahead and nitpick and say, well, Google Earth says only 33.2 miles. Okay. You want to do that? I can delete you off my channel too. You know, I, I delete comments that are not kind and are just calling people idiots. I will not allow any children that I film, even college students, to be called idiots. That's not happening on my channel. Go look in a mirror and call somebody an idiot. So there's another shot, and, and look, I'll angle this down so you can see. There is a lot, it's a lighter picture, but look, you can see this clearer here, the sky underneath. So there we have, here we have it. There's the casino right there, and if he had panned, if Jesse had panned further to the left, we could have gotten this, and we could have gotten reference points and found the mirroring, but he did not want to do that. Um, I don't know why that one's in there, except to show that that's our position. When you're close, this is very close. This is within a few miles, and it's there's no mirroring effect, really. You can see people on the beach. There again is the um, the land coming out, jutting out, and the sky underneath. And there's a casino here. Now I wanted to tell you a bit about this. When I'm standing on the concrete um, uh, embankment there, and it, what's what they call that? A dike or a break? Or something that prevents the ocean waters from coming in over. And there's a very nice concrete walkway. There's no <laughs> railings on it. So, you know, you're out there jogging or walking. You have to be careful that you look where you're going. And a strong breeze doesn't come and blow you off. But um, every person that came along there who was out braving the cold, I stopped them and I pointed out there to this casino and I said, Look, do you see that big black box sitting in the water? Do you know what that is? And some of them knew it was Atlantic City, but some didn't. I'm there. That's Atlantic City. Oh, is it? I'm there. Yeah. Do you know why you can see that? And I handed them the brochure, um, the fold-out, the little fold-outs that you can get at flatearth101.com now. Uh, I don't know who put that in there, but Dave really liked it. And I'm I'm liking it, too, because some people don't even... Look at this. If I'm out with the banners, then I don't hand them one of those. If I have the banners, then I'm showing them the evidence, and all they need to do is look up the videos. But if I don't have the banners with me, that's a very helpful tool. 
So uh, start somewhere, guys. Everybody must hit the streets. Everybody. If we flood, if we flood our world with woke people, what are they going to do? What are they going to do, really? So here we have, and I think this is um, the second to last one. This is like the icing on the cake. This is from Avalon, remember? And we already discussed this, the mirroring effect. And this is from uh, about 20 miles. So I'm going to just say a general, general thing, 20 miles. And then this has this building next to it. And this is bigger, I think, than the next one. Yeah. Here you can see the lighting, uh, the wording on the side. So what is the difference between this? And it's only 10 miles difference between this and this. This and this. That building, that building goes up to here. Right? So how can that building just disappear? Jesse, if you had done your homework, you would have seen this. We started in Ocean City and incrementally went down towards Wildwood. It was my friend's plan, and I, I am so glad he did that. He's a real thinker, and um, I appreciate him so much. And it sounded like a good plan. So I said, yeah, let's do that. Not, you know, besides he was driving. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But no, it was a good plan. Because look, what do we have here? The building just freaking disappears. Oh, well, what is that? Did um, that, did that prestidigitator, what's his name? Oh, I can't even think of his name. The guy who makes elephants and buildings disappear. It, it, did he come along and did he disappear that building? So I already explained to you what this is. Did you notice this? Did you notice this? So Jesse, what's going on here? Jesse, you need to do your homework. Jesse, you get an incomplete for your project. I am not even going to give you an F. I'm not going to call you a name because I'm just not going to be that low and, and try and make a fool of you. I'm not. I'm saying that you didn't do all that you should have done. You did not prove that you were complete in your investigation. You did a half job. You didn't even do a third job. So what's happening here, Jesse? Are you going to admit it? Are you going to come out and say, hey, I learned something today. What about it, flat earth math? Are you going to admit that there's things that you don't know that are not in a book. Charles, you need to get your nose out of the book and get out into reality and real life and start looking around you. Get your nose out of the book. And if you are teaching these children in school, this is the book, then that is your religion. That is your Bible, because you can't prove any of it. You can't prove it. You are not living in reality. We should not have any teachers who are not based in reality. This is my notice 
to all of you who are not dealing with reality. You are on notice. We will not allow you to hurt good people any longer. We will not allow you to deceive good people any longer. Mr. Soundly, you are next. In in the horse terms, you are not sound. May I also suggest to you that you seek truth. Don't just try to prove what you want other people to think. Get out there and seek truth. It is freeing. The truth will set you free. You will feel like a man. You won't be subject to lies, which are changing and changeable daily. You won't be subject to feelings and emotions, which are changeable hourly. Even minute by minute, feelings change. So let's get into reality. Let's seek truth. And I want to thank Mr. Thrive and Survive because I think he's on the right track with trying to get after these guys. A lot of you are. You're all invested in different things. You're trying to prove NASA wrong, and, and those are all good. That's just not where, like, my direction. But I think we're all going to end up at the same place. Truth all ends up at the same place. Truth and reality. That's what we're seeking, and it doesn't matter where we start. 